Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Hola, hola, Nelson. Hi, Amilcar. Hi, Mabel. Hi, Carla. Hi, Lucia. Hello, Lisette. Hi, Luis. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Maggie. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, guys. Um, ya casi comenzamos. Let's see. Vamos a esperar unos minutos. Hello, hello, Jessica. Hi, Estefania. Vamos a esperar unos minutos. And sorry, we will start, okay? Guys, uh, me estoy anotando ahorita los oyentes del día de ahora que por A o B motivo no estarán en la clase como muy activos. Ya sé que están conduciendo o no se sienten muy bien, tienen, les está pasando algún inconveniente. Déjenme ver. Bueno, sorry guys, solamente estoy viendo acá. Bueno, Walter. And, mm, creo que es Carlita, sí, Carla. Linda, Jessica, Walter, and Carla. Ellos son los que tengo acá. Let me see. Bye, guys. Creo que ya los tengo a todos. So, vamos a pasar la lista. Let's go through the attendance list. Just allow me one moment. Mm -hmm. 
Hello, Jonathan. Hi, Christian. Hi, Luis. Hi, Lisette. Hi, Hi. Marielos. Hi, Sabrina. Hello, I'm here. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay, guys. How are you today? How do you feel today is Wednesday? Wow, en dos días. Ya no nos vemos, ¿verdad? Por una semana. Por la semana de vacaciones. Gracias a Dios, dice Luis. Miren, qué malo. Hasta aquí lo escuché, Luis. <ríe> no nos está escuchando ahorita. I, I need this in the... 15 days of vacation. I need, um, I need a month. <laughs> yo sí. No sé así, Cristian, yo sí. Me da la vacación de, del, del, del mes, please. Sí, dígame de todas maneras. Con goce. Con goce. Y don't be like that, Cristian. It's in your hand right now. Está en sus manos. Dígalo. It's okay. Ah. <laughs> Qué chivo que soy, Jeran Ray. <clears throat> okay, guys. Voy a pasar a la lista rapidito. Ayúdenme a decir presente. Voy a la cámara encendida cuando la pase, please. Teacher. Hola, Jonathan. Hi. I am, I am listening because I am driving now. Thank you, Jonathan, for letting us know. Great. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys. Let's see. Wednesday the 6th. Angela Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Present. Christian Josué López Pérez. Present. Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Present. Present, present. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present teacher. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Kenny Lizette Cuellar de Barriendos. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Let's see. Sabrina Lizette García Orellana. Present teacher. Sabrina, can you stay with me today in the 101? Yes, teacher. Great. Walter Alexander Lemus Medina. 
present teacher. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. And Marcos Amilcar, you go tomorrow, okay? Mañana en el 101. And then Lucia Susena. Um, thank you, Lucy. Okay, Sol Mayerixa Oliva Córdoba. Constanza Osmara Cáceres Trinidad. Carla Elizabeth, es... Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquiven. Present. Dice del Carmen Hernández Mismi. Present. Very good. Okay, guys, thank you very much for that. I will share the screen just in one moment. Okay. Okay, guys, so uh, today, this is the class 18, and we will talk about how to use gerunds, okay? This is a review about previous class. We already know about the ING um, verse, but we will go and go deeply to this topic because we will talk mostly about the gerunds, not only as an ING form, I mean, not only as a bird, um, as a, sorry, as a, um, as a one structure, uh, but also with more uses of gerund, okay? So before going to this topic, I just want to have a review about the uses of so and such, okay? So previous class, Sorry, previous class, uh, we were talking about the use of, of so and such. We said the, the so is used before an adjective. Let me do this. Okay, we said the so is used before an adjective, all right? And the meaning is very. We use it in positive and negative situations. For example, that food was so delicious. So before an adjective. My coworker are, coworkers are so nice. That smells was so awful. This is so cold. It is so cold today, all right? And then we have the uses of such. Such, it, it is used before an article. The article can be a, an, or the. And then the adjective and then the noun. The meaning is very. We use it for positive and negative situations. For example, that was such delicious food. Such delicious adjective food noun. My coworkers are such nice people. That was such an awful smell. And it is such a cold day. So here you have examples about the use of so and such. And yesterday we had this reading. Teníamos este reading. I believe you already, uh, re you already read it. Okay, so now that you already read it, let me see. <clears throat> yes, I would like to ask you guys if you have any questions about the vocabulary on the me on the words, any new word that you identified yesterday. No new words. 
you know all of them? <coughs> ¿Todos se saben todos los, los uh, vocabulary, todas las palabras que aparecen ahí, guys? No? Yes? Maybe? Teacher. Yes? What is Q? Q? Uh, there was such a long Q? Sorry. Es um, long Q. Es como la cola de algo. No la cola, ok. Es como una fila. cola para hacer una fila, ok. Ajá, una fila, una cola, pero más que todo como una cola de algo. Como cola de llamadas, una cola para ver algo, ¿sí? Porque, ajá, fila también hay otro, otra palabrita por ahí, pero sí, cola o fila. Uh -huh. And the pronunciation? Q. Q. Q, exact. Q, like uh, Star Trek. <laughs> hay un enemigo que es Q. Q. Como la letra really? Q. Q. Ah, ok. Q, sí. ajá, es like ah, that. Sí. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very good. Thank you for asking. What about another one, guys? Teacher, mm -hmm. the meaning of uh, crowded. Crowded is whenever there are a lot of people. It's full of people. Full of people. There are a lot of people. Está muy lleno de personas. Crowded. Thank you. You're welcome. Another question, another new vocabulary. If not, I will ask you guys. I will ask you, okay? No? Sure, and it is part of the I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Hi, Jaime, and then my very sorry. And, you know, I decided to grab something to eat. Grab the meaning. It's the same. Oh, grab. The same question. Grab. I grab this bottle. Grab, agarrar. Oh. Mm -hmm. Grab something to eat. Oh, thank you, Mabel. That's the same one, right? <clears throat> Another new new vocabulary, guys? Set, sit, uh, to get a great seat. Buen asiento. Uh -huh. Seat. Oh. No? Okay, so let me ask you guys. Uh, could you please mention the first sentence in which it is you so and such? First sentence? Donde se ha utilizado el such and, and, and um, such and so? Mm -hmm. No? Maybe teacher? Yes, teacher. Give me the example of one sentence in which, in order, vámonos en orden. Give me a sentence in which it is applied such and so. Mm -hmm. It was so hot yesterday afternoon. It was so hot yesterday afternoon. Very good. Let's see, next one. Um, Nelson, dígame otra oración en que ocupamos el sash o el so. Uh -huh. En el reading, la siguiente oración donde se ocupa el sash o el so. No le escucho, Nelson, sorry. Perdón, perdón. Perdón, teacher. Eh, déjeme ver. La que, la que sigue sería, teacher, te irá a con, con tension, what, Ajá. working on it, what, such a hot day. Good job. The air conditioning wasn't working and it was such a hot day. Very good, Nelson. Thank you. Um, 
Marielos, what would be the next sentence? The next sentence with so and such? <clears throat> were so many people however there were so many people very good okay. what about uh the next one uh amilcar um it was so cloudy very and, good mm -hmm. uh, and there was Solo, solo crowded. Ah, okay, that was a crowded and that was such a mm -hmm. lot of noise. That's good, thank you. Lucia, what will be the next sentence in which we use such and so? I, I think so. I think so, okay. I think so. Let me get a second, guys. Vaya, miren acá, thank you. I think so es uno de los ejemplos que probablemente no lo ocupamos con el otro uso. El so y el such también tiene más uso, guys. Ok, este es una excepción que no aplica para ese uso porque el I think so es como que yo pienso eso. I think so, es una frase, I think so, yo pienso eso, ok. Y el otro ejemplo que les iba a decir es Sasha's popcorn, Sasha's, es como decir cómo, ok, dice, at the cinema, there, they are always sell the same stuff, siempre venden las mismas cosas, Sasha's popcorn, como el popcorn, chocolate and candy. So Sasha's tiene otro uso. No es el mismo porque si ustedes se fijan, tiene que haber un adjective en un noun y no cumple con la regla. No hay un adjective ni un noun después del so y no hay ni un, sorry, no hay un adjective después del so y no hay ningún noun en adjective después del sash, ¿ok? Por eso es que acá no significa very, sino que tiene otro mini, ¿ok? Pero como les digo, we are little, I mean, we are step by step. Vamos paso a paso. Ok, so esos dos solo son excepciones de donde no aplica el uso que nosotros estamos estudiando right now. Ok, so very good. Uh, Marcos, could you please tell me the next example? Tengo que leer lo que está ahí en, en ruedita. No. You need to read one example using such and so in the reading. Ah, okay. Uh, so happy. So happy, where is it? <gasps> in order, in order, uh, Marco, but it's fine, thank you. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Lisette, the, Lisette, could you please tell me what will be the next sentence in which we use such and so? I understand. You said? Sorry, perdón. Could you please tell me another example in the reading where you use where you use such and so? Mm. There was such a long. There was such a long queue for tickets. Very good. Okay, let's see. Thank you. Um, Julio, uh, Julio, could you please tell me the next sentence in which we use so and such? Julio. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, at, at the cinema, they always show the name, the same stuff, such as for oh, corn. Sashes and I think so, esas dos son una excepción, por eso los puse en orange, que no significan lo mismo que very, sino que tienen otro significado. Por ejemplo, I think so es yo pienso eso. 
And such as es, el significado es como. That means, guys, que so and such tiene más usos, pero los usos que hemos visto ahorita son very, ¿ok? What will be the next one? Julio, ¿cuál podría ser la siguiente oración? What will be the next sentence? I was so happy. Ese ya lo dijo a Marcos. Ok, sería, there were so few people that I was able to get a great seat. Very good, great, perfect. Ok, let's see, what about Iliana? Iliana, could you please tell me another sentence in which it, in which it is used so and such? <coughs> Iliana Carolina. Hello, Iliana, are you there? Hello, hello, Iliana. Okay, uh, Ismael, could you please tell me the next sentence in which we use so and such? Hello, teacher. Hello. Sí, sí. No sé qué están haciendo. <laughs> Excuse me. Guys, necesito que pongan más atención, please. Okay. Me acabo de conectar, teacher. Me acabo de ah, conectar. Okay, okay. Sorry. Sí, sí. Estamos identificando las oraciones en las cuales utilizamos such and so. Las, uh, the one in blue, in blue colors and orange, are, it's, they, already, they were already said. Estefanía, you, you go next, okay? So, Ismael. Excuse me, teacher. Estefania, do you have the next example? Estefanía. Ok, guys, no sé si se acaban de conectar, pero Linda, Jessica, Walter, and Car Carla, and Jonathan are the only one that asked me permissions for being listeners. Si tienen algún inconveniente, díganmelo, guys, ok? Let's see. <clears throat> Jaime, uh, could you please tell me what is another sentence in which you use such and um, so? Okay, teacher. Uh, the field has such a surprising ending. Very good. The film had a such a surprising ending. Good job. Sabrina, could you please tell me the last one? Oh, Jerixa, Jerixa, there's missing one. Falta uno. What will be the last one? No, no, no. Eh. no. <laughs> let's, let's wait, Sabrina. I mean, uh, Jerixa, Jerixa, sorry. Hay uno que no, que, que falta, guys. What is the one that is missing? And it's always so expensive. Uh -huh. so and it always so expensive. Very good, guys. Okay, guys, this is this is a, a, an activity for all of you. Vamos a hacer una actividad para todos. Vamos a crear, let's create one similar to the reading and share it with the class. Okay? Vamos a practicar el writing ahorita. Vamos a escribir eh, un día, okay? Una experiencia que ustedes hayan tenido en algún día aplicando el such y el so, ¿ok? Así como dice, I had such a great day. Y esta es la historia 
de un día que tuvo Kevin, ¿ok? En el cual fue un día muy caluroso, dice. Entonces ustedes van a escribir una, eh, un paragraph, un parrafito de cinco líneas donde ustedes me describan un día que ustedes hayan pasado en past, van a ocupar bastante el pasado y van a ocupar el so y el such, ¿ok? So, we will have for this exercise, we have, uh, um, we have six minutes. Tenemos six minutes para hacerlo. Va a ser un, un paragraph en el cual usted va a decir en cinco líneas en su cuaderno algún día. Va a describir algún día cómo fue ese día. Así como el ejemplo que está dando Kevin, ¿ok? So, van a escribir acerca de un día utilizando los, um, utilizando Sash and So. ¿Ok? Vamos a hacer uno parecido a este, pero va a ser super short. Va a ser muy cortito. ¿Ok? Questions, guys? Questions about this? No? Ok, we have six minutes exactly. We end until the 37. ¿Ok? And terminamos and, no. 38. 838, we finish, ¿ok? And I will ask you to read it. Y le voy a pedir que me lo lean después aquí, on the class. So we have six minutes to do it. Six minutes. Let's hurry up. Guys, do you have any questions about what we're doing right now? ¿Tienen preguntas de lo que estamos haciendo? ¿O de lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Usted quiere decir una, una, un párrafo o una mini historia que nos encontremos con esos, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Con el soy y el soy, ¿verdad? Exactly. Good job, Nelson. Thank you. Okay.
Guys, time is over. Let me see one moment. Deme un segundito y ya iniciamos. Did you finish? Okay, guys, time is up. Let's see. Um, guys, algo que les quería eh, pedir, please. Um, algunos sí me escriben diciendo que van a estar de oyentes. It's fine. Um, ya que, pues, en algunos momentos usted tiene una emergencia. O tiene que un, un, este, un inconveniente en su casa. O, o puede que en ese momento no puede contestar. 
o realmente está conduciendo, todavía está en el trabajo y sabemos que los minutos importan mucho, ¿sí? Yo entiendo eso y de verdad muchísimas gracias por decirme siempre. Lo que sí les voy a pedir, guys, es que cuando ustedes de verdad tengan tiempo de estar en la clase, estén full en clases y estén activos. ¿Por qué? Porque al final, guys, es para su beneficio. Y también recuérdense que pues las clases son auditadas, ¿verdad? Y pues el hecho de, de tener la cámara encendida, probablemente no todo el tiempo, porque probablemente en algún momento nosotros no podemos, pero al menos no, no serlo tan constante, eh, eso se fija mucho. Sí, así que pues, I didn't know about this, no, no sabía que eso era, sí, o sea, siempre nosotros le reiteramos de tener la cámara encendida, pero sí no sabía que tomaba mucho en consideración también eso eh, al momento de las inscripciones, el momento de todo eso, entonces yo les pido que tengamos esa participación un poco más activa, yo sé que ya estamos finalizando, eh, ya estamos que a dos clases de finalizar eso falta poco guys si después se van a ir a vacaciones you will enjoy it. sí pero take advantage ok tomen ventaja de este tiempo que es poco yo sé que todos los días pero créanme que um, I had other groups tengo otros grupos probablemente en otro lugar somewhere else um, que ellos desearían tener las clases todos los días y me lo dicen, yo quisiera tener las clases todos los días, pero por algo motivo a veces no se puede. Por, por el programa, por los horarios, por muchas cosas. Entonces, eh, a veces uno lo ve como que, oh my God, otra vez, otra vez. Y créanme que ustedes están haciendo un gran esfuerzo, más que todo por la hora. Yo siempre les digo, gracias por conectarse, guys. Gracias por su esfuerzo. Yo sé, it's a big, big effort. So, solamente eso les quería decir. Like, we you, don't have, like, we don't, thank you, Nelson. Like, we don't have, guys, como, no tenemos, no, no podemos como decir, ok, tenemos listeners o tenemos oyentes. Eh, sí, yo creo que, que realmente, eh, tal vez no hacerlo como muy, um, frecuente, sí muy frecuente eh, por el hecho de que realmente si es alguna emergencia o si usted por ejemplo va conduciendo o está en el trabajo I understand, so, siempre dígame qué, qué está pasando para yo saber y si a mí me llegan a preguntar miren y por qué esta persona no estuvo en la clase o por qué, ah no es que lo que pasa es que él tenía esta emergencia, así que pues siempre estuvo conectado, pero no estaba participando mucho. Así yo dejo en los comentarios a veces, o a veces si me preguntan, yo les digo, pero a veces, guys, I don't know what's going on. Entonces ahí no, no puedo, guys, defenderlo, ¿verdad? Porque no tengo cómo. Así que pues solamente eso, como friendly reminder, ok, como una un recordatorio, pero por lo demás ustedes saben que siempre se pueden comunicar conmigo y decirme qué está pasando. I understand. Ok. So solamente eso que quería mencionar. And let's continue. Teacher. Dígame, Nelson. Mire, eh, estoy viendo, ahorita que estábamos escribiendo, estaba, estábamos escribiendo aquí la, la, eh, la tarea que usted nos ha puesto. Ajá. Sí. Este... No veo una diferencia bien marcada entre el, entre el so y el size. O sea, ¿será que es cuando ya se aplica en, en, en la determinada oración se ve, se ve la diferencia? O sea, siento como que casi suena lo mismo. ¿Verdad uh -huh. que sí? Fíjese que sí. Eh, la única diferencia, Anderson, y gracias por preguntar, es eh, como la estructura. Pero al final los dos significan como very, muy, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Entonces, en este tipo de uso, sí, no hay como mucha diferencia a menos de la estructura. Porque con el so, usted escribe el so antes de un adjetivo. Pero el sash, usted lo escribe antes de un adjetivo con un nombre. Y a veces tiene un artículo. Ah, muy bien. Ajá, entonces esa es como la única diferencia, ¿verdad? Pero sí. other than that, they are the same. Como intensifica más el adjetivo en el caso de so y en el caso de sash, el nombre con el adjetivo. Sí, es probable. Entonces, es como la, la diferencia. diferencia. Exactly. Sí. Exactly. Okay. 
sorry guys, que me está escribiendo un, un, uno de sus compañeritos. Otro niño. Sí. Teacher. Dígame. ¿Puede compartir, por favor, la imagen del reading que teníamos? Solamente uh, quiero ver un yeah. detalle. Por favor, please. Yes, yes, I will do it. Sorry that I stopped sharing it. Ahorita lo comparto. Bye. Déjeme ver... Teacher. Yes. Y en la Qué primera bien. hora, en la primera oración que dice ahí, it was so hot yesterday afternoon, por lo que mencionó de la estructura, el yesterday afternoon funciona como nombre. Uy, where is it? Oh. No, solo sería ahí como el so, el, la, el, la estructura del so es el so más un adjetivo. Entonces el adjetivo es hot. Yesterday afternoon es un time frame. Es, un, um, es una, una frase de tiempo. Ah, ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys. We will start with Sabrina. Sorry, Sabrina, that I'm taking advantage of you, pero ya que la tengo aquí. <laughs> okay. Should I yes, stop sharing? No, no, solamente una preguntita de Sabrina. Ah, sí, dígame, dígame, dígame. Si, por ejemplo, ahí diría, di, dijera, it was a so hot day. Si le pongo el day, el hot con el day, ahí sí ya tendría que ser, it was a so Uh, it was such hot day. Ajá. Exacto. exacto. Entonces esta es como la diferencia. Si usted quiere como eh, intensificar más o oh, oh my god, how do you say that? Highlight. Enfocar más como el nombre, sí. Highlight the name. I mean the noun. You say such. Así como lo dijo Sabrina, such a hot, hot day. Pero si usted no va a decir el day, entonces usted dice, it was, a, it was so hot today. ¿Ok? Today ya es una frase de tiempo. ¿Ok? ¿Questions, guys? ¿No questions? ¿Good? Me avisa Sabrina. It's okay. Okay, should I stop okay. sharing? No? Hola. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Let's do it. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, say, it was. Uh, it was such a very busy day. I was studying, also I was working in an office. And when I was there, I discovered I can't eat two sweet foods together. I ate, I ate such a sweet cookie with coffee. It was such a sweet coffee. I didn't feel very well. I had a headache and sickness. It was such terrible experience. I don't remember how I came back to my home, to my house. Oh, you didn't remember how to come back to your house? No, I, I don't remember. Now I, I think, and I try to remember, I don't remember. I can't eat 
two sweet foods together. Oh, if really? I if I if I drink coffee, eh, amargo es sour, verdad? Sour. No. Uh, I have no. to drink sour coffee with uh, sweet, but just a, a little sweet. The two sweet foods together, I can't. But my I have a headache and sickness and everything. I I remember that I was working to my house and no, I don't remember anything. And also, uh, it was it like was drugged. Two drugged. times. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, it was. It was, and I remember that I I did the same another time just for proof and in at night and i don't remember i just remember that my mom was like a, a, and estaba poniendo pañitos en la cabeza al día siguiente y no recordaba nada varias veces entonces ya soy yo la que no tolera ese tipo wow. de comida i didn't know that so you need to make this experiment whenever you're secure at home <laughs> But you won't yeah. be able to make that experiment anymore because you know that you cannot do it, right? You cannot mix them. Yes. And by the way, sorry, Sabrina, I didn't want to interrupt you. I just want to make sure that sore means like agrio. Like whenever something is agrio. And for something that is like amargo, it's bitter. Bitter. Ahorita lo voy a poner en el chat. Bitter. Bitter. That's agrio. And good job, Sabrina. Amazing job. Okay. Thank you for sharing with us. And that was interesting. Okay. Thank you. Sabrina, could you choose another person? Estela Mabel. Okay, Mabel. Go for it, Mabel. Okay. Thank you, Sabrina. Uh, I had a such a special day. My mother-in-law was so happy. She was so sick and in a large time, nice, large time, time. Maybe she was so depressed because we couldn't to go out during quarantine. But that day we went to Caluco. She enjoyed it such hot soup and she loved it. Great. Thank you for sharing with us about your mother in law. Good job, Mabel. Thank you a lot. Okay. Good. Mabel, could you please choose another person? Kenny. Okay, Kenny. Kenny, are you there, Kenny? Let me see if Kenny, yes. Or oh, is listener? No, she's here. Okay. Kenny, I hope so. <laughs> Kenny Lisset. Kenny, where are you? Kenny. Choose another one, Maril. Sorry. Jaime? Hi, man, Tony Velar Cortez. Go for it. Okay. Um, this week, school, we celebrate the well being week. And this week, we, we learn, um, we learn to to help the healthy and um, oh sorry to healthy uh, for uh, for life and yesterday we had so interesting activities uh, the students were so happy in science we had no classes <laughs> we had no classes uh, we saw a movie that was so nice uh, at lunch. They enjoyed so healthy food together and they went 
home so happy. Wow, okay, great job, Jaime. Very good. Okay. Would you please choose another person, Jaime? Okay. Um... Uh, Marcos Amilcar. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Torres. Mancia, no, Mancía <laughs> Gutiérrez. Ya me cambia el apellido, teacher. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Who's <Okay>. Torres? <laughs> okay. Um, my brother and I went out to Sonsonare yesterday, uh, but it was so so hot that we went to the beach. I only use the such, uh, so. So and such. See, but it's, I it's, only uh, oh, use so. Okay, that's great. Thank you, Marcos Amilcar. Choose another person, Amilcar. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Luis Ernesto. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Hi. This is my history. I had a day so hard. And one day and the night I slept late. I slept late at 2 a.m. and I, I get up so early to work. I didn't want, want it. I couldn't eat uh, and I got a uh, such great idea which consists of not driving and take a bus. Such bad idea. Uh, the bus was so crowded and I couldn't sleep. That was such a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you a lot for sharing with us, Luis. Let's choose the last one, okay? The last person. Can, can. Jose Nelson, thank you. Thank Excellent. You. Thank you, Mr. Um, Tickets uh, we find the Monday is so fetch and I, the way low. The Edwards uh, wears such elegant clothes. Se escuchó. That's it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Nelson. Great. Okay, guys. Repito, no, Te it's repito fine. La historia. No, it's fine. Thank you. Okay, guys. So, very good. Okay. So, that was the purpose that you applied. You apply it and now you know how to use it. Okay. So, we will continue with the class. But before continuing with the class, guys, I will go through the attendance list. Let me see. Mientras voy por la attendance list, guys, le voy a pedir que hagamos este writing practice. Vamos a cambiar los verbos que tenemos acá into gerund. We will add the ing. Okay, so let's change it to the ing form. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Dígame eso. La, la, la duda que surgía de hoy está en esta en este pequeño párrafo que escribí yo donde dice eh, she got we found the Monday quiso eh, a pichina that we had love you eh, is igual with such elegant clothes que yo siento que como que que es lo mismo verdad y lo que usted me explicaba uh -huh. Si eh, quiere, hágame la... un favor, eh, Nelson, mándeme, mándeme la foto de lo que escribió. So I will review it there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, okay. Nelson. Thank you. 
Ok, guys. So, voy a pasar la lista rapidito. Nelson, ahorita voy a estar viendo su mensaje de lo que me mande. Y le voy a responder. Y, guys, change the following verse into germs. Ok? Please, 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 please. Um, let's see. Once you change it, los mandan al, al grupo de WhatsApp, los mandan, guys. Manden una foto o mandan el verbo ya cambiado en ING form, ¿ok? So, let me go through the attendance list really quick. Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Ok, thank you. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Yeah. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Kenny Lizeth Cuellar de Barrientos. Linda Magali García Montoya. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Walter Present. Alexander Lemus Medina. Thank you. Present. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present Lu teacher. Lucía Susana Chica de Claros. Present. Surma Yerixa Oliva Córdoba. Surma. Constanza Osmara Cáceres Trinidad. Carla Elizabeth de, um, Escobar Esquivel. And Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Mismi. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys, let me know whenever you finish.
Okay, I got the first one. Being, walking, seeing, mm, dancing, tying, flying, running, opening, stopping, traveling. Sabrina, let's go ahead and just check the, the spelling, okay? De algunos. Luis, veamos el spelling de algunos. Teacher Motelos, no escucho. Yo te puedo ofrecer un plan de ya. Teacher, do you have off the microphone? Sorry, uh, help me out with the microphone, guys. Sorry. I know, so popular it was so good, but I don't know which one is it. <laughs> Let me see. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Traveling, stopping, opening, running, flying. Okay. Good. Uh-huh. Being, walking, sand, dancing, tying, flying, running. Uh-huh. Tra traveling. Thank you, Marvel. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Traveling, traveling.
En traveling se dobla la L, ¿verdad, Ticha? Ah, ya decía lo que hacía falta. Una rayita ahí. Mm. Really? I forgot it too. Yes. <laughs> yes, guys. Sorry guys, ya les comparto. Here you have. Sorry that I stopped sharing again. Where is it? Oh my God. Here you have, sorry. Okay. Here you have it. Ahorita lo vamos a hacer, guys. Okay, we will do it together right now. What about B, guys? How do you how do you say this? I mean, how do you pronounce it? This. Mm -hmm. Fíjese que a esto me, refer me refería yo, guys, cuando hablábamos antes de cómo conjugar este verbo, el verb to be. Porque si ustedes se fijan acá, yo no voy a decir para are or is, yo no voy a decir así, ¿verdad? Tampoco voy a decir isn't, ¿verdad? No, it doesn't make sense. Entonces acá, para, para poner el be, ya lo hacemos diferente. Lo hacemos being, ¿ok? Con ing. En cambio, iba a depender, como les digo, la estructura, the structure, ¿ok? Walk, guys. Walking. Walking. Uh -huh. Walking. Sí. What about sí? Sí, guys. Sí. 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 With one E or double E? Eh, one one. E. One E? Yes. Double E, okay, it's double E. Dance, guys? No, Dancing. 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 Perfect. Tie? Catching. Así, ¿verdad? No. 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 How? No. With Y. With Y. Ah, sí. With Y ah, okay. and I. Okay. Fly, guys? Flying. 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 Flying, okay. Yes. Run. Running. 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 Double N. Double N. Open. 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 Stopping. Stopping. Like that, right? Double P. Double P. Ah, double P, okay. Travel, guys? Traveling. Traveling. Traveling, right? Traveling. Yes. 
Esta opción es en el Google. Esta opción es en el Google. Esta opción es en el Google. Pero no sé si lo busqué mal, pero lo encontré con un P. Es con doble P. ¿Con doble P o con one P? Ah, I traveled with one P. Yo recuerdo que la regla... Recuerdo que la regla se aplicaba para esto. Ok, ya vamos Double a ver. P. ¿Y el traveling, guys? ¿El traveling cómo es? Ese no sé. Double L. Double L. Double L. L. Double L. Yes. Porque okay. lleva doble L. Why, guys? Probably. Why is double L here? ¿Por qué tiene double L? Uh -huh. No. 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 Because the verb and consonant, vowel consonant. Yes. Consonant, vowel consonant. Pero no es un, no es uno de one um, syllable. Tiene dos Teacher, syllables. For me, it's not double L. Lo que pasa es que al momento de separar, según dramática, no tiene que quedar una sílaba completa con otra sílaba. Entonces, la L que tenemos, le queda la E con la B y le agregamos la L para que forme otra sílaba. No sé si ando algo perdido, <risa> o esta astralidad me la imaginé yo. Ahorita, guys, ahorita Pat. les voy a mandar la... Espérame, la no sabemos, no la podemos de memoria. Ahorita les voy a mandar la regla. No sé si lo leí o lo soñé, teacher, así que usted dígame. O sea, sí es con double O, double o pero hay un porqué. There is a why here. Ahorita les digo. No, why. Pero es, es stopping. Quiero que me digan de stopping, porque tengo, I have doubts with that. I found it with one P. One P. Yes. Two P. Two P. What happened? <laughs> I don't know the rule. <laughs> no me acuerdo la regla, pero sí recuerdo que era mi memoria. Sorry guys, ahorita les mando, eh, oh my God, the picture, para que las tengan ahí de las reglas, ¿ok? That rules the best to say the match. Bueno, ahorita se las mando, guys. Y ahí me van a decir, oh, yes, teacher. Oh, no, teacher. Where is it? Teacher. I don't, okay. I can't, oh, here you have. Ok, guys, ahí les mando las reglas, ok. Miren ah. el WhatsApp. And those rules are the ones that we already started. Ya habíamos estudiado esas reglas. Teacher, aquí yeah. veo que la diferencia de traveling es que con doble L es para inglés británico y con una L es para el inglés de... Yes, the not double the final L unless it's stress. Do not double the final L unless it's stress. Dice, um, travel, travel, traveling. Sí, sorry, okay. sorry, stopping si es con doble P. Mm -hmm. Gracias. <laughs> I mean, uh, guys, traveling, um, Como ustedes no están either in British, either in North America, you can use both. Pueden utilizar both, pero just make sure que en British is um, double the final L and North America is with one L, okay? 
experimentos. So, para mí los dos son aceptables con traveling. Ok, both. Both are acceptable. Ok, so, questions about these guys? Questions? No questions, teacher? Ok. Teacher, British yeah? double L. Uh -huh. British double O and American one L. So for me, both of them are correct. Para mí, los dos están correct. One, uh, one L and double O. So, guys, we will continue then with this activity and this activity is about mimic game. Uh, we will make gestures so others can guess what you are doing, okay? Vamos a hacer gestos. Let's make gestures so others will guess what you are doing. Vamos a ver. I will, I will choose the ones that will um, make the meme right now. I mean, that will meme right now. Sorry, no me voy a decir que... Ay, qué mala la ticha. Pero le voy a decir quién es. Marcos Antonio Melgar va a ser el number one. Main Mimics. Cristian Josué López Pérez, number two. Number three. Oh, my God. Ay. Julio César, number three. Espérenme, voy anotando. Marcos. Cristian. Um, Julio Amilcar Luis Ok, here you, we have it Marcos, Cristian, Julio, Amilcar and Luis Ok, you will be the ones that will make the, the, the mimic Ok, let's start with Marcos Marcos Usted va a hacer gestos ahorita, pero solo usted va a saber qué está haciendo. And we are guessing. Vamos a nosotros a adivinar lo que usted está haciendo. Pero we will say the example in English. Va a decir la oración en inglés. For example. Um, ok, what am I doing, guys? Yo, Marcos no va a hablar, ¿verdad? Pero le supongo que era Maxi. What am I doing? Se congeló, Tizel. You are drinking. Ajá. Uh -huh. You are drinking. You are drinking? drinking you are drinking water. Okay, perfect. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer, pero yo no voy a hablar. I mean, the person is not going to be. Okay, yeah. let's go with Marcos. Marcos, go for it. Okay. Juan Marcos, teacher. No. Marcos Antonio Mal Melgar, Malgar Pérez. Ah, ya lo vi. I got it's, it. It's raining. And you are you are grabbing a, a you are using umbrella. You have off your microphone. Uh, Marcos is grabbing an umbrella. Very good because it's raining. Okay, Christian, go for it. Funny, the One more time, Christian. ING. It's cold. It's cold. Yeah. Is wearing. Is using the cell phone. Uh-huh. Is, is texting? <laughs> uh, is, he is hugging himself. Himself. Greeting the, the girlfriend. It's snowing. It's snowing? In the sun. In the sun. Yes, yeah. Luis. <laughs> okay, very good. Let's go with Julio. Julio, go for it. Is it smiling? No. Uh, sneezing? He is sneezing? 
He's sneezing, right? Yes, he's sneezing. Very good. Amilcar, go for it. Marcos Amilcar. One from the movie. One from the movie. One from the movie. He's talking. <laughs> he's reading. Writing. He's writing. Okay, writing. perfect. Luis? Luis Ernesto? Come on, let's do one he's, difficult, guys. Difficult, he's fixing, difficult. He's fixing the camera. He's driving? He's driving a bus? He's a car. Yes. He's driving. driving a bus. Okay, very good. Good, okay. No se puede enseñar el carrito de colección. Uh -huh. ¿no? Solo porque es un Max Neal. <laughs> de tres pesos. <laughs> Three dollars. Wow. Me acuerdo que una vez fui a... ¿Cómo se llama esto? Donde venden las pupusas ricas, pero está como en lo alto. Es, no, es, no es el volcán, sino que es... Los Dios. planes. Los planes. Una vez a, a los planes estaban vendiendo carritos ajá, de, de colección. Habían unos bien bonitos y me dijeron 30 dólares. Y como que, ¿qué? ¿Qué? ¿Really? Era, ¿eh? <risa> ¿Se manejan ¿Anda? solitos o qué? Ah... Ok, tiene oro, ok. Pero ok. I didn't purchase, of course. Ok, guys. So, we will continue with the next activity. And the next activity is writing and speaking activity. <laughs> Go to the page 41, guys. Let me open the page 41. 41. Page 41. Oh, sorry. 41. Okay, uh, page 41, we have this conversation and then we will um, answer the questions, okay? Read the conversation. In order for us to read a conversation, I will ask to have a volunteer. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read the conversation, guys? Hey, I am Hugo. Go, Hugo, and who's Milton? I can be Milton. Go, go, Mil go, Sabrina. <laughs> Salas were not so good Póngale this morning. Sazón, pues, guys. Póngale sazón. Salsita, quesito. <laughs> Okay. The sales were not so good this month. They're, they're for in, in, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. Personalizing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be more manda mandatory on each sales. That's a good idea. Also, I'm stressing in buying raw material and so we save more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it either. Let's try it out. Very good, guys. Okay. Guys, repeat after me. Okay. All of you, todos, todos, guys. The sales were not so good this month. The sales, the sales were, were not, sales so, good were not this so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Therefore, Therefore increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each sale. 
That's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials so we save more money. That's, that's, that's a good idea. idea. Also, so I'm interested, interested in buying, in buying raw materials so we money. More money. More money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. However, I prefer getting a bank loan I know that we can pay it with the income we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. I'm, I'm concerned concern about asking for money, but let's try it, let's it, try it out. out. Okay. Very good. Guys, what is a loan? What is a loan? Prestar. Yes, oh. préstamo. Uh -huh. Ban loan, préstamo. De un banco. Ban loan. Ban loan. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, let's see. We will go ahead and um, answer the questions we have here. What is the objective this month, guys? Do you know what is the objective of this month? Do you remember what is the objective? Increasing the sales. Increasing our sales. The main uh, teacher, uh, their main, I mean, what is their objective? Their objective this month is increasing our sales, is increasing the sales, okay? What are some steps they want to follow? Hello? What are some steps they want to follow? They want to... Analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes. Okay, great. What is one of them worried about? They are worried about the money. Uh -huh. They are concerned or they are worried about asking for money. That's right. Very good. Okay, guys. Questions about this conversation? Questions? Preguntas? No? No questions? Let me see. I just want to make sure something here. Mm. Teacher. Yes. Yo estoy perdido ahí con el tema porque hablaba de los de los gerundios y yo nunca lo he entendido al, al, al es decir sí sí entiendo cómo se complementa una, una palabra pero cuándo y dónde la puedo eh, por ejemplo si hay una oración cómo la voy a poner un ejemplo quisiera para tener una idea sure great question Nelson good uno de los primeros usos de los gerundios, guys, obviously, is the present continuous. El presente continuous, por ejemplo, lo que está, ustedes estaban diciendo. Oh, ustedes dijeron, he is uh, drinking water. He is driving a bus. Um, what else? He is sleeping. Uh, he is riding, ¿ok? Son acciones que pasan en ese mismo momento, ese es el presente continuo, ese es uno de los usos. Y de hecho, ahorita que está hablando Nelson acerca de eso, vamos a hablar acerca de cuáles son los usos de los gerundios, ¿ok? Thank you, Nelson. So, how to use the gerunds? We use them as a subject. Ok. But I, I have a question for you guys. What is a subject in a sentence? ¿Cuál es el sujeto en una oración? What is the subject in a sentence? The parents? No. Great. No, I mean, what is the subject? En, en una pregunta general. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? ¿Qué es el sujeto en una oración? 
de quién is se habla. La persona de quién se habla. Is what we are talking about. The microphone. Sorry, I was about to sneeze. Pero yes, a subject is the person that you're talking about. Ok, la persona de quien se habla. Ok, pero recuérdense de que también cuando nosotros hablamos, puede que no hablemos solo de una persona. Podemos hablar de un animal, de una cosa, de una idea, etc. Ok, entonces, o de una acción, sí, de una acción. Puede ser que yo hable de la acción. Déjeme darle un ejemplo. Pra uh, sorry, hablar inglés, speaking English is not easy. Hablar inglés no es fácil. ¿Cuál es el sujeto de la oración, guys? ¿De quién speaking estoy English. hablando? Ajá, del hablar de inglés, ¿verdad? To speak in English. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Speak. Is. Speak. Is, is, ok, is. Vuelvan a escuchar mi, 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 mi oración, sin leer nada. Um, speaking English is not easy. Hablar en inglés no es fácil. ¿De quién estoy hablando o de qué estoy hablando? The speaking English. Ajá, uh -huh, the speaking English. Ok, ¿cuál es el verbo? What is the verb? El verbo es. Is, is not. Is. Is very good. It's not verb to be, right? Uh, what is the complement? Easy. Not easy. Easy. Not easy. 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 Sorry. Very good. Good job. Entonces, FYI, for your information, whenever you speak, guys, you can speak about a person, about a, about a idea, about an object, about an animal, about an action, okay? El sujeto puede ser mucho de eso. Al final el sujeto es de quién se habla. Right? O de qué se habla. So, volviendo al tema, uno de los usos del, del uh, jeron, sorry, de los jerons es, además del que lo usamos en presente continuous, ¿verdad? Lo utilizamos como sujeto. ¿Cómo? How come? How come? For example, Increasing our sales is mandatory. Increasing our sales, el hecho de incrementar las ventas. O sea, la, la idea, la acción de incrementar las, ventas, incrementar las ventas es el sujeto. Usted puede decir, teacher, pero yo veo que el verbo es increasing. No, esa es una frase, ok, increasing our sales, pero está actuando como sujeto. Ok, so, increasing our sales as a subject, let me get a second, increasing our sales is the subject, is as el verbo, y mandatory complement. Second example, producing high quality goods, ok, producing high quality goods, recuérdense que goods es ¿Qué, guys? ¿Qué es ahí? ¿Qué es ahí? Pero cuando le agregamos la S, búsquenlo, ok. Let's look for that. Eso es como decir book in English. Book es libro, pero también es book make a reservation. What is good? Mercancía, viene. Okay, very good. Mercancía, so viene. Okay. So producing high quality goods, it's our target. So producing high quality goods es la idea completa. Esa es la acción. De, quién se ha, de qué se habla? Se habla de produ producir eh, bienes con una calidad alta. ¿Qué se dice de eso? Que eso es nuestro objetivo, nuestro target. ¿Ok? Entonces, uh, to summarize, los germs lo ocupamos, guys, como sujetos. Ese es uno de los usos, como sujetos, dependiendo de dónde esté. Porque si usted ve eso al final, entonces no es un subject. Vean la posición también, tiene que estar antes del subject. ¿Ok? 
Questions about this, guys? Questions? Cuando es un subject, siempre iría con el verb to be. Mm, no, not all the time. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, increasing our, our sales, um, can, um, can improve the outcomes. Increasing our sales can improve, o puedo decir, increasing our sales improves the outcome. ¿Ok? Y no okay. necesariamente es un, es un ver to be. Quiere decir que al final usted puede tener ya sea un ver to be o puede tener otro verbo acá. La cosa es de que se esté hablando de esa idea o de esa acción. ¿Está that understood? Yes, teacher. Ok. Second use. Segundo uso, guys. We use the gerund. Ok. We use the gerund. After some verbs, lo utilizamos después de algunos verbos. Algunos verbos. Le voy a hacer una pregunta. Guys, ¿se recuerdan que les dije que para algunos verbos nosotros no ocupamos el to? Como por ejemplo, yo digo, I can go to the movies. O I can play tennis. ¿Qué tipo de verbos son esos? Modal verb. Modal verbs, ok, perfect. Ahora bien, tenemos los otros verbos donde si yo ocupo dos verbos, tengo que ocupar el to, ¿verdad? For example, I have to work today. I want to sleep right now. ¿Sí? Entonces, cada vez que tengan dos verbos, ustedes ocupan el to para dividirlo, ¿verdad? A menos que sea modal verbs. Ahora bien, también hay otros verbos, guys, que después de ellos tienen que ir una, un gerund o un ing. Porque es regla. That's a rule. ¿Ok? For example, I think that I prefer getting a bank loan. Acá no vamos a decir I prefer to get, sino que I prefer getting. Porque el, el verbo pide un gerund. Ok. I prefer getting a van loan. I think that I prefer getting a van loan. So el segundo uso del gerund es que lo ponemos después de un verbo. Pero ese verbo no son todos los verbos. Usted tiene que saber cuáles son los verbos. Y yo se los voy a dar ahora. Don't worry. Second example. I dislike fighting employees due to low incomes. Sorry, I dislike fighting employees due to low incomes. So, lo utilizamos después de estos verbos, prefer and dislike. Teacher, but how can I know what are the verbs that are used with the gerund, Marcos? ¿Cuáles son los verbos que nosotros util... ¿Cuáles son los verbos, Marcos, en los cuales yo tengo que utilizar gerund? Marcos. Marcos, Antonio, no. Melgar, Pérez. Ah, yo creí que el otro Marcos. Se me pierde Marcos, se fija, se queda así como que. ¿Cuáles son los verbos? ¿Qué estaré haciendo, señor? Este, los verbos que tenemos que utilizar, este. ¿En qué dijo? Lo voy a colgar, Marcos. Para que se fijen de que no, he's not paying attention. No, yo les dije que yo les voy a dar los verbos con los cuales se utiliza el yero. Yo, me, ok, myself. So let me stop sharing. Let me stop sharing y les voy a mostrar, guys, cuáles son los verbos en los cuales nosotros vamos a ocupar el ING. El yero. Estos son, guys. All of them. Sorry. Here are some of the most common verbs that are usually followed by the yero. 
okay? Enjoy, fancy, discuss, dislike, finish, mind, suggest, recommend, keep and avoid. Después de esto, verbo siempre va a ir el ing. No va a ir el to. Yo no voy a decir I enjoy to live. No. I enjoy living in France. I fancy seeing a field tonight. We discuss going on holiday today. I dislike waiting for buses. We finish preparing for the meeting. Um, one moment. Um, I don't mind coming early. I don't mind coming early. He suggested staying at the Grand Hotel. They recommended the meeting earlier. He kept working although he felt ill. She avoided talking to her boss. Esos son los verbos teacher, pero ¿cómo, cómo, how? ¿Cómo yo lo voy a saber? By memorize them, guys, sorry. Ustedes, ¿cómo lo van a saber? Memorizándolos. Ok, ¿cuáles son los verbos que se utilizan en G form o gerund form? Memorizándolos. Hay más verbos, yo les pasé como los más commons, ok, los más well known. So, ahorita les voy a pasar una captura a su, al grupo, guys, para que ustedes sepan los tres usos del gerund. Y les voy a pasar esto. Esta imagen de cuáles son los verbos que se utilizan después del yaro, ¿ok? Para que ustedes lo tengan. Guys. So, that is the second use of the yaro, ¿ok? Este es el segundo uso del yaro. All right? Questions, guys? Questions at the moment? Dígame. Yes. Uh, bueno, yo sé que no siempre tenemos que tratar de traducir al español, ¿verdad? Eh, todo. Pero en este caso, por ejemplo, los verbos que usted pasó ahí en la fotito, si yo los leo, no sé, se me viene a la mente un, 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 alguna acción en presente. Pero ¿cómo me tendría que entender esa oración? Porque... En el gerundio en español es el ando, ¿verdad que sí? Eh, comiendo, andando, eso. Entonces, ¿cómo tendrían que entender esa oración con este segundo uso? Very good question. Por ejemplo, acá lo que vi importar, sorry guys, pero escucho mucho ruido. Como que están dentro de una, uh, como dentro del mar, I don't know. So, um, Let's see. En la number one, enjoy. Usted que tiene que se fijar, el que, el que acá manda qué tiempo es, es el primer verbo, Sabrina. ¿Sí? Porque como ya no estamos hablando de presente continuous, ¿ok? Entonces acá el que manda va a ser el primer verbo. ¿Sí? ¿Cómo así? El primer verbo, ¿cuál es acá? Enjoy. ¿Y qué significa? Enjoy. Yo disfruté. Yes. Yo disfruté vivir en Francia. Entonces aquí ya no, aquí el gerund ya no significa ando yendo, ¿ok? Porque en el primer uso yo dije, um, dice el primer uso, increasing our sales is mandatory. Ahí no digo incrementando, sino que incrementar nuestras uh, ventas es mandatorio. Entonces acá, guys, el, vaya, vamos a decir que el primer uso que dijimos anteriormente es, el primer uso que ya nosotros ya lo sabíamos era el de, el de uh, presente continuous, ¿verdad? Y ese uso sí, uh, eh, significa ando yendo, ¿ok? Pero acá, en estos usos ya no, olvídense de ando yendo, ¿ok? Solo es otros usos que se le da. Por ejemplo, en la number one dice, I enjoyed the living in France. Yo disfruté vivir en Francia. ¿Ok? Vean esta. They recommended. No, esa no está en pass. Uh, with finished. Tenemos otro, otro, otro tiempo. Yo he finalizado. Uh, we have finished preparing for the meeting. Yo he finalizado. 
la preparación de esta reunión. O yo he finalizado la preparación ajá, por, para esta reunión. We have finished preparing. I'm so bad at, at, at translating in Spanish, guys. Yo la entiendo así, pero cuando la... No sé cómo puede decir el preparando. I have finished. No, preparando. No. I have finished. Yo he finalizado. Es que en inglés I understand it. I have Ahí no es los preparativos, no. No, terminé, no. Sino que yo, ah, sí, sí, yo he terminado de preparar. Very good, Mabel. Ven, soy mala para traerlo al español. Yo he terminado de preparar eh, para la reunión, ¿ok? De preparar como las cosas para la reunión. Entonces, si se fija acá, no es ando yendo. Veamos el dislike. I don't mind. I don't mind. I dislike, I dislike waiting for buses. I dislike waiting for buses. A mí no me gusta esperar a los buses. El I don't mind. ¿Qué significa I don't mind, guys? Coming early, right? No me importa. No me molesta, ajá, no me molesta venir temprano. ¿Ok? Entonces, si se fijan, guys, al final... Esto de ING en este uso no es que significa ando yendo, sino que lo utilizamos para poner otro verbo, pero tiene que ser en German. No sé si me entienden esa parte. Solo será como auxiliar, como el did. Para no, para no. no usar el tú, no. como como... O sea, en vez de utilizar el tú... Ajá. Seems to be coming eh, physically. Es como que sustituye el tú. Sustituye el tú. Exacto. Es que ustedes cuando, vaya, ustedes si dicen una oración, pero en la misma oración dicen muchos, muchos verbos. O sea, yo disfruté vivir en Francia. Ok, yo disfruté. Ese sí lo tienen que conjugar, lo tienen que poner en pasado. Yo disfruté. Pero el vivir, tenemos dos opciones. Ponemos I enjoy to live o ponemos I enjoy living. Pero hay unos verbos que toman gerundio y no toman infinitivos. Pero todos los otros verbos sí toman infinitivos. O sea, toman este gerundio. No sé si pero me Pero los que toman, toman el gerundio son opcionales. Son, op son opcionales. Son, hay, es, hay excepciones. ¿ja? No todos toman gerundio. O sea, hay no. verbos. No son todos. En cambio, para hacer el to infinitive, en ese sí son la mayoría. Pero hay excepciones para el yendo. Y son estos que les mandé. ¿Sí? Porque por eso se los mandé, porque estos son los verbos que toman gerundios. ¿Sí? Mientras que todos los demás toman infinitivos. No sé si me doy a entender acá. De lo que en español siempre significa un infinitivo. Entonces en la primera oración dice yo disfruté viviendo en Francia. Yo disfruté vivir en Francia. Ah, Acá ya no traigan el ando yendo porque ahí sí no le van a entender. ¿Sí? Yo creí que decía yo disfruté viviendo en Francia. No, yo disfruté vivir en Francia. Okay. Uh -huh. Porque, ajá, porque imagínense el, el último, no puedo decir yo di, yo evité hablando con el con su jefe. Yo evité hablar con su jefe. ¿Ya? No sé si me entienden. Ok. Mañana vamos a seguir con otra, con otro eh, review, guys. Vamos a seguir con otro review. Solamente déjeme finalizar el último uso para ya we go to bed. También ese ya se lo pueden. Lo utilizamos el ing o el gerund después de preposición. Eso ya lo vimos en la clase, en el curso pasado. O sea, el tercer uso es cuando lo ocupamos después de una preposición. For example, I'm interested in buying raw material. Después del in, ing. I'm concerned about asking for money. About, 
preposition and después ing. Okay. So at the end we have three uses. Subjects, bueno, four. Lo utilizamos con el presente continuous que se significa ando, endo. Number two como subject. Number three como después de algunos verbos, algunos. Y después de las preposiciones. Ese es el uso del gerundio. ¿Ok? ¿Y quién me enseñó todo esto? Another teacher. <laughs> ah. uh -huh. Another teacher Gracias. that knows a lot Gracias. more than me. <laughs> Another teacher, the books and internet. Okay. <laughs> to be more, to be complete, right? Okay, guys. So, voy a pasar la lista rapidito. Ahora se queda conmigo. Sabrina, right? Okay. Um, Lizette del Carmen Hernández, Miss Smith. Present. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Sí. Constanzos Mara Cáceres Trinidad. Zulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Zulma. Zulma Yarixa. Where is Zulma Yarixa? Yo la vi por acá. No le escuchamos, Zulma. Yarixa. Mm, maybe she has problems with the microphone. Okay. Thank you. Es que no le había marcado su asistencia. Lucía Susana Chica de Claros. Present. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present. Walter Alexander Lemos Medina. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Marta Lidia Godínez. Here, teacher. Oh, thank you. Uh, Marielo Janet Cornejo Eras. Present, teacher. Marcos Antonio Melcar Pérez. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present, teacher. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Kenny Lizette Cuer de Barrientos. Present teacher. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present teacher. Jorge Good Antonio night. Feliciano Rivera. Good night. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Present teacher. Uh, Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Estela Mabel Oreana del Cid. Present teacher. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Okay, guys, so I hope you have an amazing night. See you tomorrow, okay? Take care, guys. Bye-bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See Bye. you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, guys. Take care. Hello, Sabrina. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Fine. Great. And you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking me. Um, okay, Sabrina. So this time is created. Um, so you can tell me if you have any difficulties with any, you know, with any topic. If you have any doubt, if there is a topic that you didn't understand and you would like to um practice again or to reinforce it right if there is a tip or a piece of advice you want to hear from me i can help you with this so um i can help you to improve any uh, skill that you may need 
to improve like listening, speaking, reading, writing. Any doubt, any question, any feedback? And Sabrina, I want to say congratulations because I know the big improvement you have been having in the course mm -hmm. and I know you're doing great. So congratulations for that. Yeah, and there is a big difference okay. from the Serena that I started with me and the Serena that I can see now. Because you try to go ahead and, and, and go to the extra mile all the time to participate. Um, and all the activities that you do are awesome. And you're asking, and that's what I like, yeah. that you are asking and asking and asking and investigating. And that is the reason you're learning, Serena. So I remember the the photograph that you created today, it was really good. It was a well um, done photograph and I'm so proud of you. So keep it up like that, Serena, cause at the end, I know you will learn a lot and you will be good in this language, okay? So I wanted cool. to say that. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Do uh, I'm so wow. uh, happy because you say that for me and Sometimes I feel so strange when I always uh, talk first in the class and I say, oh, I love no. that, Sabrina. <laughs> <laughs> but always I, I, I talk first whenever place I am. <laughs> you are one of my saviors because sometimes it's difficult whenever you're asking and no one is, uh, is answering. So whenever no one is answering, because I mean, sometimes they they are ashamed of participating or they don't want to talk or they are not paying attention. So whenever no one is um, like answering, I always um, wait, uh, I will always uh, try to wait for Sabrina or for Jaime to help me um, in the, in the you know, explanation. So I thank you for that because at least I don't feel alone because of you guys. <laughs> so I, I will say, let's, Let's keep it up like that. Let's continue participating like that because this helped you a lot. That helped me and that helped the class as well because at the end, I believe that the others um, participants will learn from you as well. We'll learn from Jaime, we'll learn from Christian, for all of them, for all of you guys. So it's good to be like that. It's good because at the end, um, you are... Um, I mean, you are learning, the other ones are learning, right? And you are a great help for the teacher. So thank you, Sabrina. Thank you, thank you for hearing that. No, just, um, well, it, it was about me. <laughs> and I say, maybe I, I something I feel strange with. But then uh, I, I have seen that when I ask something and you are saying that, no question, and I ask some, and I ask something, and after that, other say I have the something, yes. and I open the door for for the question. That's right. Yes. <laughs> if no one asks in the class, I mean, if no, there is no. I mean, there's no person that talk first. Maybe the other ones are not gonna be talking. So um, you're helping others to participate as well because if you participate, the other ones will participate because it's difficult uh, to participate as a first time. And I am like that, Serena. I mean, I'm talking- Take the eyes. Take the eyes. Uh -huh, <laughs> exactly. So I'm talking and all of these, but if you see me as a student, maybe I'm not going to be the, well, sometimes I might be the one, but whenever I was at the university, I was shy and I didn't want to make mistakes. So that's why I maybe didn't talk at first time. So now that I'm a teacher, <laughs> it completely changed, right? And now if I am a student, uh, then I ask a lot. So maybe because I'm not ashamed of participating or making mistakes, right? But that's what is going on whenever the other ones don't participate. But at the end, that helped a lot to the whole class. So don't stop doing it, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, teacher. Well, um, and about the topics, that class was, this class uh, was new for me. More the second use. 
and because I was thinking about the germs and I understand the first use, but I have doubt with the second use. And mm -hmm. because when I read, I always say, what is not a two? And why is ing in the second verb? And what happened that? And it's the first time that I, I, I hear the second use. And I I can see if I I see or I understand well. And the verb that you send to us at the WhatsApp group is the unit verb that we have to use with gerunds. Exactly. But, and there but, are more. <laughs> uh -huh, but it's not bad if, for example, in the in the first, I say um. I think that I prefer getting a bank loan, but it's bad if I say, I think that I prefer to get a bank loan. I prefer getting and I prefer to get, right? Uh-huh. It's bad if I change. Mm, what happens is that, what happens is that prefer as a rule, it says that we need to use the gerund. I mean, it doesn't suffer any changes in the meaning. It's fine. At the end, you mean the same. But if we see it in a um, grammarly speaking, it's bad because that is one of the rules that we have in grammar. But it doesn't suffer any change. And the other person will understand. So don't worry about it. It's not a mm -hmm. big deal. But it's about not yeah, putting the yeah, S in the third person, let's say, okay? I will send to you, Sabrina, and I will send to the group right now a link. This link, this link is so awesome. Ese link lo comparto más que todo, Sabrina, Casar. I don't want to, I don't want to, I didn't want to explain that today because you will, you will get confused. Obviously, okay. this is the first time that you're talking about this, but if mm -hmm. you, you have chance, Serena, to read the article that I sent it to you in, the, in this, um, in, the, in the link, that will be awesome and you will understand why. And now I wanted to tell you that one of the reasons why we use ING and sometimes in some verbs we use the particle to, it is because it changed the meaning. Okay. For example, and this will be taken from the link that I have already sent it to you. Uh, let's say, forget. I forgot to meet him. I didn't meet him because I forgot to do it. Ese es el meaning. Si yo digo, I forgot to meet him. I forgot to, 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 to do it. I didn't meet him because I forgot to do it. Yo olvidé reunirme con él. So, on the contrary, if I use I forgot meeting him, eso significa I don't have the memory of meeting him before. I forgot meeting him significa como que se me olvidó que yo ya lo conocía. ¿Ya? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is a big difference. Ahorita se lo voy a mostrar. Two different things. Entonces, por eso es que existen el infinitive y el gerund, porque it completely changed the idea. No sé si está viendo ahorita la pantalla. Yes, yes. I'm, This I'm, one. I forget, I forgot to meet him. Uh -huh. And I don't have, I forgot meeting him. I don't have the memory of him. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It completely changed the idea. Mm -hmm. If I use it with this. So you need to know what to use. You know, that is why there are some verbs that you can use it either with gerund or infinitive. And there are some verbs that you use it just with infinitive. And there are some verbs that you use them just with gerund. Because all the verbs I have to remember. <laughs> I have to memorize. Yes, unfortunately, okay. yes. Yes, exactly. it's like I learned to talk about like a kid. Yes, that's yeah. right. Okay. I will say yeah. here, um, sorry, go for it. Uh, no, it's just that 
all that is because it, because um in english uh, talk when talk is like a contract and todo breve all mm -hmm. is contract and because we are we in spanish i think we talk to mode mm -hmm. and and we ha we say a great explanation and i say that that in this but in english try to to say all in one sentence <laughs> exactly i mean in in spanish it's not so difficult well spanish is is then it's a difficult language it's yes. even yes. more difficult than english that, that is my hope that is my hope and i always remember when when i found a difficult topic for me i say no but uh, in this moment in a school in usa somebody is learning and he's saying wow that is difficult and that is difficult it's more difficult uh -huh. than i am learning now el presente participio no sé qué <laughs> oh my god i suffered that hay muchos que aro no pretérito perfecto simple pretérito perfecto no sé qué oh my god <laughs> so what i wanted to mention sabrina is that at the end in english uh, that are maybe because of one word or with one letter you change the meaning completely you completely change the meaning of some word of of a sentence so that is what we need to be careful in the rules that we have in grammar right for example the rules about the gerunds and definitive we need to uh, be careful on that I make, this is just a, just as an introduction about this. Maybe whenever you are in an intermediate or in advance, you will be explained better or in better words, the link that I send it to you right now. So I didn't mention this because I didn't want to confuse yourself because this is just an introduction. Later on, you will be understanding why this is happening. Oh, okay, that's the reason you will say, but that is the reason why I don't go ahead and, and give you all of this right now because you are a beginner, right? But since you are asking me right now, I believe that now that I explain it to you, that makes more sense, right? Why am I, uh, why I am saying that sometimes we use gerund and why sometimes we use infinity? Because it, it completely changed the idea. <laughs> In sometimes, not all the time, right? That's the reason, Sabrina. Okay. It's okay, teacher. Everything, it's okay. And thanks for your patience with me and with all of us in the class. <laughs> Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you for your support. And as, as I said before, keep it up like that because you're doing awesome. And, and I know you will be one of the best. And your i mean your level is so good right now even though you are a beginner but it is so good because you motivate yourself to do it and and, and you know why you are here so thank you for that and i hope you have an amazing yeah. night if you don't have any questions arena um if not you can text me on the whatsapp and i will be always be there for you okay okay thank you teacher thanks You're thanks welcome. so much Okay, have a, have a great night. night. Bye. Take care, Sabrina.